Hey, so, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my account after 45 days of playing. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're, uh, this is what we're doing today. So I've been playing Genshin for, I think, 45 days now, 45 days played. I, I think that's what it said on the website. So that's, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, so we're going to be showing you guys, uh, everything I've built up over that time period. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. So... I've been playing this game for a little bit of time. Uh, as you can see, we are AR45. It's, it's kind of funny because we've been playing for 45 days. That's kind of weird. I have 189 achievements. Uh, and that's only having played for like a month and a half. So pretty interesting. As for characters, let's go ahead and take a peek at these. I have Dai Luke. Right now he's sitting at level 80. We got Zhang Li. Bennett. Beto, Yula, Xingxu, my OC here, Noel, Diona, Burbs, Fischl, Razor, Yan Fei, Xin Yan, and Ning Wang, Kaya, Lisa, Amber, and Shang Ling. So we got a pretty good suite of characters uh, set up having only played for 45 days. That's that's adorable. Some of them have more constellations than others, but I ended up pulling a C6 on Beidou here. Uh, I got I actually got two Eulas. I saved up enough Prywin gems to try and pull her twice, so I ended up getting the second one. Uh, we got C3 on Xingxu. This one, I mean, that's gonna happen for everybody. C1 for Noel. Uh, we got a few Dionas, a few Burbs, uh, a few Yanfei's, one extra Xinyan. And I think, yeah, one extra Kaya. And that's pretty much it. Uh, for the most part, we're, we're kind of constellation-less. As for artifacts, uh, currently we are we have a pretty good suite of five-star artifacts, but for the most part, we're using purples. Uh, we haven't gotten a chance to really grind for artifacts because we've been leveling characters and stuff. So that's kind of where we're at right now. My best artifacts right now are probably, I would say, this, I mean, this piece right here that I use on Eula is actually really strong. It's got a crit rate of 14 on it, and it's got crit damage. I mean, it, obviously, min-maxing wise, this could definitely be better, but I don't really care. We have a really good goblet right here from the Noblesse series, and it's got, you know, it's got physical damage on it, up to, like, getting close to 60%. It's really good. We got crit damage on it and an attack percent. I really wish this defense right here was crit chance, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It's still a really good cup. And outside of that, I mean, none of my five-star artifacts are really that good. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of just throwing together makeshift stuff out of the five stars that I have. And then the rest of it's four-star artifacts. As you can see, I have big fat HP rolls on pretty much anything I can get my hands on for Zhang Dong. And yeah, I mean, outside it, we're just kind of crutching off random artifacts we can get. <laughs> it's kind of just what we're doing. But, you know, even if you've been playing for a long time, you're not going to get very strong artifacts. It's kind of just the lay of the land. As for weapons, I feel like this is the part that a lot of people really care about. You know, what weapons are good? What should I be using, right? I've gotten the Snowtune Star Silver. This is the one I use a lot for Eula. And anytime I want to get, like, some extra damage, it's my hardest hitting greatsword right now because of the physical damage bonus and all that stuff. But uh, I'm trying to get the prototype Archaic up as well. This is a really good one. I highly recommend you get this and the Snow Tomb Star Silver if you can. I ended up pulling the bell from uh, Wish. It's not the best, but I have it. Uh, we got this. I actually think I might have gotten this from the Battle Pass. I can't remember. We got Rust. Rust was a pull, I believe. And these are all pretty good bows. Sacrificial Bow, we pulled this. Same thing with the stringless. The weapons, I feel like after you get a few of them, you kind of trade them between characters, and it's kind of where I'm at. Obviously, no five-star weapons, because I haven't been pulling for them, and I don't have the money to spend for it. So there you go. The weapon I actually used the most was the Skyrider Greatsword, because the Skyrider Greatsword has an excellent physical damage bonus, pretty good raw, uh, just because of it being a three-star, it's a little bit lower. But the refinement and the buff you get from the stacks is more than making up for that if you want a good three-star weapon to crutch off of. So I highly recommend this if you're trying to make a great sword play more DPS. Outside of that, I mean, it's just other random stuff. Uh, we are currently on chapter nine of our book. So that's where we're at with this. Now let's go ahead and look at resources. I feel like a lot of people probably care about this stuff. Uh, we're really low on books because we've been leveling stuff up, but you know how that is. 
Uh, we got a lot of these. I actually don't even know what this is. Oh, these are green. Gotcha. These are the green ones. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, and as you can see, some materials we don't use a lot. Some of them we do. Um, and you can really tell when you get like 120 something of something, right? We have some boss materials. Haven't been playing for very long, uh, but I have collected a few. Boss materials, they come and go. We have hundreds of this nectar. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be using them on, to be honest. Uh, gems, once again, these come and go. Some of them have more than others, especially the animo one. Uh, the animal one, I am stockpiling super duper hard. Same with the um, Hydro one. And the only reason that's happening is because I have one animal character, and that is Traveler. So, feels bad. And uh, we have two crowns. Two crowns. I'm probably going to end up using these on Eula. That's probably the play, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And the rest of it's weapon materials and talent ascension materials. As you can see, I don't play very many. Uh, I believe these are for Catalyst characters. I have no idea. I don't know what these are for, but I, I haven't been using them. I've been mainly focusing on the resistance ones because of Eula and Diluke. As for food, uh, I've been trying to collect a pretty decent amount of food, but obviously I end up using these so often that I just, I fly through them. I haven't made too many potions and stuff. We've been cooking a lot, but I've, I've like mainly maxed out my proficiency for all these common ones that I have up here, all of the gray ones. And green stars, I, I mean, the two star ones I've been, you know, kind of filling out. But for the most part, I try to craft the ones that I really care about. I also try to stockpile healing items, but I'm not really set on which one I like. I kind of just craft whatever I can at this point. I don't really touch the defense ones. Obviously, zero proficiency out of 20. So you can tell that I don't touch those very much. And last thing to really look at would be this, I guess. Uh, all my materials from farming for the pot and then also random materials from the world i have a few like i'm stockpiling a little bit obviously you can see i have a lot of billets uh i'm trying to get great sword billets this is a sword one but if i can get more great sword billets i play a lot of claymore characters so i think i need more of those stat obviously i don't touch the bows and catalysts very much I'm stockpiling them. And for the swords, I honestly haven't even crafted much from them. I think these are, I haven't crafted a single sword probably. I don't even know. There's a few resources that I collect just from running around like sweet flowers and I have hundreds of them. But obviously this is just 45 days played and it's not too much. I think the biggest struggle bus I've had to deal with being that I've only played for 45 days is dandelion seeds. These are rough and Core Lapis. They, they've given me the hardest time out of anything else in this game. So, you know, <laughs> we have the NRE, two cameras. I think this one has a special filter. I don't know. Uh, we keep warming bottles sometimes uh, for the sheer cold stuff. So, you know, that's a thing. And I didn't even know about the parametric transformer until someone told me about it. So that's fun. And yeah, as you can see, I've been trying to save some of the masterless star glitter for when characters rotate into the shop. And for the Masterless Star Dust, I've been trying to use these to buy wishes primarily. I don't really know what else to do with these other than buying the wishes uh, and maybe some of the like materials for ascending stuff, but I, I don't know. This, these kind of, once again, these come and go. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, that's kind of where we're at with the game at this point, uh, 45 days in. I would say uh, I've tried to stay free to play, but I've spent a little bit of money here and there. Uh, because I actually really like this game. I don't mind uh, spending a little bit of money to, you know, give back to the people because I think this game's pretty fun and I, I don't mind. I didn't pay a dime to get the game, so why not spend a little money? I'm probably going to end up doing another one when I've played for 90 days uh, just to see kind of like, you know, how the how the game is treating me, I guess. Any of you that are newer to the game and you're worried about, uh, like, uh, do I need to spend money to, you know, get stuff done and all that? No, you, you don't. Uh, you can stay free to play and you can still enjoy this game. You can get characters, all this stuff. Um, and you can start stockpiling really and enjoying this game without spending a dime. Time. So, if you haven't gotten into this game and you're wondering if you should, I think you should. Well, I'll update you guys uh, later on the road when we have more days played, but yeah. Have a lovely day. Much love. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Peace.